than investigators already investigating a fire still smoldering at this hour. As if Iris's story wasn't astonishing enough. Because of her years of drug use, she was told she could never have a child. All right, next time you get into a fender bender, keep this one in mind. One out of every seven drivers in the U.S has no insurance. Houston Transtar is revamping theirs to make it easier for you when the next big storm hits. Well, fly fishing doesn't seem like the hippest thing for a 20-something to be doing on a Saturday morning, but that's exactly the stereotype one group of fishermen is trying to change. Hey, so, I across the whole parking lot, Ruben. Welcome to the cool part of where the line was. I You're see late. The interview with Ryan Seacrest, and I don't. You're he asked about you. What did he say? He said, "Where's the blonde?" Do you think he was talking about Carrie Underwood? Yeah, I think he was talking about yeah, Carrie I Underwood. Think he was. Show them my dressing room, okay? okay. We don't have dressing rooms. Rick thinks he does. It's a janitorial closet. <laughs> so we were scouting some of the line sets here with Steve. And on the end of this line, there's a huge gator. I'm not sure how huge he is, but there's most definitely an alligator on the end of this line. <laughs> okay, it could be a three-inch gator. But what we do know is that there's a gator, and that's my cue to get back on the truck. Security will continue to be tight across the U.S. following the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, and that's because a security threat still exists. Meanwhile, investigators remain on high alert following several scares in airports on 9-11. Fox's Heather Brown explains where authorities are being extra vigilant. Well, shortly after the federal government enacted sweeping health care reform earlier this year, there was considerable concern over a last-minute addition to the legislation. You may not even know about it. A 3.8% tax on the sale of real estate. The tax is meant to help shore up Medicare and takes effect in 2013. And here to help explain it, we're lucky to have him, is Dana Curvin, the chief political strategist with the Houston Association of Realtors, and Chris Schilling with Turbo Realty. Thanks for coming in, you two. 512 now this morning. Another day, another dollar to be earned on the stock market. Fingers crossed. This morning, the Dow Jones opens up 83 points at 11,858. The Nasdaq gained seven points and the S&P climbed five points. And if you're a T-Mobile user, you could soon get to own an iPhone. This is a huge announcement. T-Mobile expected to be bought out by AT&T. It would cost a whopping $39 billion in cash and stock for the purchase. The deal would catapult AT&T past Verizon Wireless, making AT&T the largest U.S. cell phone company. Both companies have agreed on the plans and the deal should be closed in about a year. Borders Bookstore will soon close one of its seven area stores despite previous announcements that Houston area locations would remain open for business. The borders and the fountains on the lake in Stafford could close by late May. But first, Houston Rodeo's record run. This was the best Houston livestock show and rodeo in history. More than two million people attended the three-week event, up 5% from last year. It all came to a close last night with Jason Aldean. We'll be right back. And instead of asking why me, they overlook their despicable condition and they shine. Gage Hancock Stevens is one of those people. From an original composition to a little smoke on the water. This kind of musical talent would be remarkable for any 12-year-old. I just listen to it once and then I match and tune on the piano. But Gage Hancock Stevens is blind. My daughter, my 14-year-old, will go onto YouTube and find piano um, versions of songs that he likes and she'll play them over and over and over while he practices hearing them and plays them on the keyboard until he gets it right. Come this way. Yeah. All right. Since the age of two, Gage has been battling brain cancer. He and his family are in Houston visiting from Washington State to take advantage of MD Anderson's proton therapy, a state-of-the-art radiation treatment that targets tumors in sensitive areas of the body. And today marks Gage's final treatment. He came in singing. Um, he made other patients whose situation may be not quite the same as his very happy. Luckily, he was young enough when the parent has to go through the first stages of denial, anger, grief, all that. He was, he's young enough not to remember, so I did some conscious mental changing too and have determined that we're going to be positive no matter what there's always something good even in bad stuff so that's kind of how i've raised him so he looks on the bright side of everything 
The cancer may have claimed Gage's sight, but it hasn't tarnished his attitude. Can I open it? And the positive energy is rubbing off on other families staying at the Ronald okay. McDonald House of Houston. Oh, thank you, Marina. It's really nice music. I like it a lot because I used to do chorus and piano, so I liked it a lot. Do you think it's more difficult for you to play the piano than maybe other kids? Uh, I don't know. God has put the skill into everybody into doing this. So you can basically do anything. You should never say you can't do do anything. You should... If you stay positive, you'll always be able to do something. It won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. Yay! I love that. I think we have American Idol in your future. <laughs> What an inspiring young man. I love that kid. Mary Jo Rapini is up next to talk about the importance of fathers. Now you hear about it quite frequently, women being targeted by criminals. So have you thought about getting a gun to even the odds? We went to a Houston gun shop to find out what your options are. Until they reach in their pocket and uh, pull out something like this. Pick your poison, pink, rainbow, or this rarity with a political punch. So if the governor can use this to shoot a coyote, I can certainly stick it in my purse and pull it out if I feel like someone's coming towards me. Gun advocate and shop owner Jim Pruitt says he's seeing more ladies getting licensed to carry. Home invasion is the number one reason. Somebody was beaten on the door. I didn't answer it. You know, nothing good happens after dark. Your right hand is going to be your primary firing hand. And if you know what you're doing. And when I stand with the pistol and I have my nice athletic stance, weight on the balls of my feet, the gun rays up and it naturally lines up with my eyesight. It can pay off, but the price of protection is hefty. You'll need about $350 for a small handgun, up to $150 for a 10-hour concealed carry class, and up to one hour of hands-on instruction. Well done. Excellent. So we got three good hits in the center. We got one that's still going to be combat effective. This one's a little high, but it's definitely going to change his mind about doing something. Complete this and send a $140 check to the state, and you've got yourself a five-year concealed carry license. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. What we've seen happening since the law passed is when somebody gets pulled over that has a concealed carry permit, the police take extra precautions, which means it takes longer for you to get through this traffic stop, whether you get a ticket or not. That's right. Each time you get pulled over, police will see that you're licensed to pack heat. Backup is typically called, and officers will approach your vehicle from all sides. No joke. There you go. Certainly something to think about there. Well, a good gun dealer will walk you through the process of getting a concealed carry permit if that's something you're interested in. They'll show you a wide variety of weapons in your price range to find what feel, what fits and what feels most comfortable to you as you carry it there. All right, live in the newsroom, Natalie Bomke, Fox 26 Morning News.